Hey guys, peace and blessings, peace and blessings, Mark the Messenger, uh, back on another video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sabbath day. So, um, unfortunately in this video, I wanted to share you guys two clips. It was with two witches and they're pretty much making fun of Christians for practicing witchcraft unawarely. I really wanted to share with that video with you guys. I already had it uploaded, but YouTube copyrighted it. So I had to pretty much just tell you guys what they were talking about. Pretty much they were making fun of Christians for practicing. They were saying like, oh, Christians say that if you practice witchcraft, you're going to hell, which is true. And then they begin, they were on to say that, you know, well, Christians, they celebrate Christmas. They offer um, cookies for Santa, Santa Claus, which is offerings to Satan. Uh, for those who don't know, they made fun of Christians for um, celebrating Easter, pagan holiday. Uh, they made fun of Christians for saying the, the tooth fairy. You know how when we were younger, we used to put the tooth under the pillow. Uh, people don't understand that that's the origin for demons. Um, the, the bone demon, I forgot what the name was. Uh, I mean, a lot of the stuff we practice or like, you know, saying sticks and stones may break your bones, but words, you know, all that type of stuff, guys, all witchcraft. So witchcraft comes in many forms. And I'm going to go over in this video, guys, 10 signs that you're practicing witchcraft and you have no idea. I'm going to show you guys how to identify it. So I hope you guys learned from this video. Like I said, I really wanted to share those two clips with you guys, but unfortunately due to copyright, I can't. So hope you guys enjoy. Line on the Holy Spirit. You should be make, making sure you have the spirit of truth in you to lead you to all truth. Okay. Um, I was, I wasn't, I'm not gonna lie guys. I wasn't celebrated Christmas ignorantly. I wasn't celebrated Easter chasing the Easter bunny. Um, when I was younger, I would put, uh, the tooth, you know, when, when you know, when we were, when we were younger, we would lose our teeth, put it under the pillow. You guys don't even understand that that's the origin where demons come and collect. Okay. Um, you could all guys, before you guys get mad in the comments, I want every single one to do your own research. Ask God to show you, to reveal you things. Okay. Even these witches know that Christmas is, and Easter that, you know, are just pagan holidays. Okay. Now she said cr Christians. Now she's talking about the worldly Christians. She's talking about the ones who don't have the spirit of truth in them. Okay. Us who have the spirit of truth in us. We know God reveals. We ain't celebrating Christmas. We ain't celebrating Halloween, Easter. No way. No way. Okay. Let's get it. Let's go. These are the 10 signs, 10 things you're, you're partaking in witchcraft and you have no idea. Okay. Number one is astrology and horoscopes. Okay. Astrology and horoscopes. I just actually posted this on my Instagram page. I'll leave a, the picture I posted yesterday. My Instagram is at Mark the Messenger. And uh, a lot of people got mad. Like, no, Jesus talked about horoscopes. Um, the fish shine. Uh, I guess you know how the, the, the fish people think that that's Jesus's sign or something. No, like they said that Jesus was a Pisces. No, no, no. That's all linked. Guys, notice how that was a fish. That's all linked to the Marine Kingdom. Okay. That's not the, just because you see that fish, people think, oh, okay, Jesus was a Pisces. No. Okay. There's a Bible verse, guys, that talks about where God condemns. God says that horoscopes are an abomination. Okay. This is in uh, De De Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18. Nine to, to twelve. Okay, it says when thou come into the land which the Lord thy God give thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those of those nations. There shall not be found among you one that make his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that use divination, or an observer of times. Observer of times being horoscopes. Okay, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or consulted with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or an necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God do drive thee out from before thee. Okay, yes, it's an abomination, guys, when you're partaking in uh, horoscopes and astrology. And like I said, guys, I used to do, uh, look at my horoscopes every single day. I look at it like it was my Bible. Okay, I, I cling on more to that than I, than I did on prayer, than I did even reading the actual word of God. Okay, and that's what God says. It's an abomination. And also in the book of Enoch, it talks about where these, what, where the astrology and horoscopes originated from. Okay, from fallen angels. Okay, the devils they taught they taught them how to look at the stars to find the, the, the way the features. We were never supposed to be learned that, guys. If you read the book of Enoch, it talks about the fallen angels, devils they taught man that. Okay, so it's an abomination to God. Many people, guys, like I said, guys, I want you guys to seek the spirit of truth yourself. I want you guys to seek God yourself. Do the research yourself. And so before you get mad at me, use that same energy to do the research yourself. Okay, number two is tarot cards. Okay, this is also. One of the biggest things that I see a lot of people, because it shows me who watches my channel. Okay. A lot of people, y'all watch these type of channels, guys. And I'm like, no, you can't watch, you can't watch my videos, guys. And then watch a tarot card reader. Okay. That's a witch. All those people y'all see playing with tarot cards, guys, those are witches. With or a man, wizard. The guy I just showed you guys, that was a witch. Yes. A man could be a witch too, just like how a man could be a Jezebel spirit. 
Yes. Okay. So you all got to be very careful with these tarot cards, guys. That's divination. You're opening doors, demonic doors into your household, especially if you're playing it in your house. You're, you're, it's like a gateway for demons. And that's exactly what it is. So be very careful when you're playing with these tarot cards. Go seeking a medium to, to tell you your future, guys. We're not supposed to be doing any of that. Okay. We must have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Okay. And we must have a connection with the Holy Spirit, with God, because no man can go into God, but first through the Son, Jesus Christ. So always keep that in mind. We don't need to be worrying about the future. The Bible actually says not to do that. Okay. So God knows what, what, the things you pray for. God already knows what you're going to pray for. So there's no need to worry about the future. We must have faith. Faith in God, faith in the Son, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we don't need the tarot cards. We got to give that up, give up the witchcraft, give up the divination. Because I'm telling you, you're opening doors for demons in your house. So there's many Christians who have testimonies of the. I never play with tarot cards, so I don't have any testimonies from that. But if you go on YouTube, there's many videos of them, you know, opening up tarot cards and they were battling demons. Because that's exactly what it does, guys. In the spiritual realm, the unseen realm that we live in, you're opening up doors for demons to come in and torment you, your family, your loved ones. So, yeah, guys, be very careful. You have tarot cards in your house, guys, throw it away. Throw it away. Number three is spirit guides, okay? This is a very tricky one, okay? Because a lot of us, we we, 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 we seek guides. We seek someone who's, you know, especially when we become spiritual. And it's very, you got to be very careful falling to the new age spiritual. Okay? As the Bible says, mentions the spiritual man, that is a man who's being led by the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth. Okay. When you're not being led by the Holy Spirit, you could open up the door for spirit guides, especially if you're falling into the new age snare. Okay. The, the, the spirit guides, guys, are demons. You think you're communicating with a spirit guide, someone who's going to lead you, someone who loves you guys. That's a demon. You're, you're talking to a demon. You're being, you're being guided by a demon. And that demon wants to, wants, is going to deceive you and send you to, to your soul to hell. Okay. And, you know, lead you to darkness. So be very careful about spirit guides. If you guys want to guide, Okay, you got to be seeking the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, having a personal relationship with the son, Jesus Christ. That's all we need. We don't need to do the extra things because I'm telling you, you are opening doors for demons in your life. A lot of people, guys, I have a friend, an old friend who he used to do astral projection, which I'm going to talk about in a bit. And he told me that and see, God told me to cut him off in my life, which I did. And I ended up meeting back up with him like a year later. And he told me he was astral projecting and he was talking to a spirit guide. And he said that the spirit guy was like a light guy. Like he was full of light. But the Bible says that even the devil disguised himself as an angel of light. And he told me that spirit guy told him to reach out to me again. And what did this guy do again? He tried to hurt me. But see, God protected me because God warned me not to hang out with him again. So see how God warned me? The Holy Spirit warned me. I don't need a spirit guy. That spirit guy tried to send him back in my life to, de to deceive me, to get me to do the things that he was doing. To de and you see, he was deceived and he tried to deceive me. Okay, that's why it's important, guys, to understand spiritual warfare, to have the full armor of God on so we can protect against. Now, I'm not going to say he's a demon, but the demons were using him. Try to get to me. When you're strong, when you're a chosen one, the, the, the devil knows he can't get to you. So he got to work through someone else to try to get to you. Okay, so always keep that in mind. Number four is I see this a lot, guys, the Kundalini energy and spirit. I actually did my research on this. Okay, the Kundalini spirit is linked to a, a, a false counterfeit Holy Spirit. A lot of people are deceived by having that spirit. Nowhere in the Bible does it mention us for having kindling energy to unlock your chakras, to have the kindling spirit. It says to receive the Holy Spirit. Okay, Many people are not going to be able to receive this message. Why? Because they're not chosen. Many are called for your chosen. Okay, Simple as that. This is not biblical. Kindling, guys, is not biblical. I don't know why people... Uh, you know, the New Age snare, that's where people fall into. There's nothing, there's nothing that the Bible mentions about kindling. Like I said, I did my research on that which I want everyone else to do your research on that too. This opens doors. You know, you're talking about, oh, I'm activating your kindling. That's just demonic, new age demonic. So be very careful about that. The only spirit you want, you don't need no spirit, guys. You don't need a kindling energy spirit. You need the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth. Okay. And even a lot of people who profess to be Christians, they don't even have the spirit of truth. They're just religious. They have a religious spirit on them. Okay. Number five is Uji boards. Okay. I have a story on this, guys. Uh, back when I was, I think I was like 17. I was in high school. I had some friends at the time. They were, uh, they were like, Mark, let's go. You know, I have this board. And I, I didn't know what that was back then. I had no idea about spiritual warfare or nothing like that. And he was like, oh, they, they went out to the woods, guys. They went out to the woods. And he was like, um, I'm about to go play with this board. But something told me, guys, like, don't go, don't go. Like I said, I had no idea what that was. But I got like a bad vibe from it. I got like a bad, it was bad. I'm like, you know, avoid that. It's like the Holy Spirit was warning me, like, don't do that. And, you know, they went out to the woods and they opened it. And when they got back to the house, he's like, Mark, I, he said, Mark, I was seeing stuff. 
And I'm like, well, after the, cause I, I didn't know at the time what demons were. Anything, but he's like, yeah, Mark, I, I started playing with it. Him and his friends went out. I stayed at the house. And uh, I said it was I was at his house and they went to the woods and it was I was with his brother playing Xbox and then when he came back he said he was seeing stuff guys like I don't know why and that, ever since then guys he was never the same he was never the same guys so if you guys have any ever played with this you gotta rebuke it guys rebuke it and repent from any to door you guys are opening that's a solution guys overcoming witchcraft repent simple repent from all anything you're opening any any doors you're opening understand when you repent. The demons are not going to let you go in peace. So they're going to rage war. They're going to fight against your soul. They're going to fight against your spirit. Try to get you to stay in darkness. So always keep that in mind, guys. Repent and prepare to put on the full armor of God on because these demons, they ain't going to try to let you get free. Okay, They're going to work through other people. They're going to uh, throw the spirit of fear on you. They're going to try to throw a whole bunch of spirits on you. So always keep that in mind, man. Number six is astral projecting. Okay. Um, you know, there's a, a story in the Bible in Samuel where a witch brought back uh samuel back to life okay and people try to justify that as astral projecting being good no okay saul had to go seek a medium which the bible says is an abomination so you know and i'm not going to say this is not real astral projection is very real but it, we're not called to be astral projecting okay you don't know what dimensions or what, what anything your any doors you're opening to, to, you know for the spirit guides or anything you're going into when you're astral projecting okay that is very very demonic and it's no need to do to astral project. Like, what are you trying to do? Okay, this all goes back into Adam and Eve. Eve wanting to uh, get the tree uh, good and evil. So we don't need to be doing this. We don't need to be astral projecting. Like for what? And I have some brothers who told me their testimony of them doing that. They were never the same after they done it. Okay, even they said years later they're still fighting. You know, some demons off. Okay, so you guys do not want to be astral projecting. I see this is like a new age trend going on on social media. Um, you don't you don't want to be doing that guys because that could come with a whole bunch of spiritual consequences for demons that come in your life You don't know where you're gonna go astral projecting. You don't know what you're gonna see You know people doing uh, DMT shrooms acid guys be very very weary on uh, be very very cautious on doing those type of things Okay, that could also open demons too. All right number seven is yoga meditation a lot of people are not gonna want to hear this but um if you actually do your research on yoga, it actually comes forth from a Hindu religion practice. They did it to summon spirits. You notice how when people do yoga, they, they put up the 666 hand sign. Okay, there was even an article I was reading, and it talked about how um, the people in the Hindu religion were mad at people over here in, in the States, in America, because over here in the States, they do it as like an exercise thing. But they were, you know, they got mad because that's a, that's a religious practice, okay? And understand this too there's actually a bunch of a whole bunch of testimonies of people doing yoga and they opened up demonic doors too i never did yoga before i just did my research and i know that that is not of god uh, there's nothing wrong with stretching like say before going to the gym there's nothing wrong with that but when you're doing the whole meditation okay the bible says to meditate but the bible when the bible talks about meditation it talks about meditating on the word people ask me mark make a video on how do you meditate on the word it's simple whatever verse okay let's say talk about Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, okay? I can meditate on that verse daily. Have that in my mind. Have that in my conscience, okay? That's what meditation is, okay? It's not to be, oh, you know, putting up the 666 hand sign and, oh, you know, I'm not going to, you know, y'all know how it is. You guys don't have to be doing that, okay? That could also activate the Kindalinian spirit in you, okay? So like I said, they, when people did yoga back in the days and the origins, what they did, the pagans, the heathens, it was to summon spirits, okay? Do your research. Don't get mad at the messenger. I know what most people are doing these days. But do your research. All right. Number eight is dream catchers. Okay. Dream catchers, you know, we, we, we use them because we thought at the time that if you put up a dream catcher, uh, we, it will protect us from bad dreams. Okay. And that is not the truth, guys. We don't need to be. That's why you guys got to be very careful for idolatry. Be very care, careful about physical objects. Y'all know the crosses people were right. You know, witches wear crosses, the Jesus cross. Y'all know witches wear that. Okay, it's a pagan origin, so you gotta be very careful with the any type of objects, any type, not just the dream catchers, but anything you're using for protection. I'm gonna go over with number ten too. Anything that you're using for protection, you need to rely on the Holy Spirit for protection. You gotta rely on angels, the angels of God, just like how there's demons, there's also angels of God. And the Bible says that if you fear God, you will have angels around you. That's in Psalms chapter thirty-four, verse seven, to protect you. Okay, if you're anointed, you're protected. Or if you just fear God in general, you're protected. What is the whole duty of man? To fear God and keep his commandments, okay? So we don't need to have the dream catchers. We don't need to have the physical objects to protect us in the spiritual war. The Bible says our weapons of our warfare are not carnal, okay? So get rid of all dream catchers, guys. This is also open up demons or knowledge. Who, 
who knows what's happening in the spiritual room when you got dream catchers above you and you're sleeping that i mean i can't believe i used to do that guys who knows throw away all these objects number nine is crystals okay now you guys might be saying well god created the crystals god created of course god created the crystals god's the creator of all things okay he's the creator of all things god created the devil okay uh, the thing is, when people are using those crystals to protection, they're using their uh, their crystals to protect you from energy weapons or energy energy frequencies or for demons. That is a physical object. Like I said, the Bible says that the, our weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Okay, what is a crystal? It's a carnal object. It's a, it's a physical object. That's not going to protect you from energy weapons. That is far from the truth. You guys want protection? You must rely on the Holy Spirit. Simple. But like I said, most people are carnal. Most people are not chosen. You know, that the new age community is pushing that chosen ones. How can you call yourself a chosen one if you're not a follower of Christ? So don't be deceived, guys. Do not be deceived. We don't need crystals. We don't need any of that to protect us. We need the Holy Spirit. We need angels to protect us from against these demons. And, uh, you know, we need uh, the truth, the spirit of truth. So we know because the Bible says, um, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Number 10 is rosemary beads. People were asking me to make a video on that. So I'll just talk about this here. Um, so the Catholics, they believe that when you pray, you're supposed to have the rosemary bead and pray. Like I said, guys, that's heathen stuff. That's what the heathens do. They rely on carnal things. You know, the Gentiles, they rely on physical objects. Okay. They rely on idols. We don't need that. When you pray to God, you don't have to be holding on to something and looking down. That is foolish. Okay. You don't have to be. No one in the Bible says to do that. Okay, the Bible says there's one meditator between God, which is through Jesus Christ. All we have is simple, guys. The Bible says if you want to pray, lock yourself in your closet. Okay, pray, in, which means it's to pray in private. If you don't have a closet, someone asked me, Mark, I don't have a closet. Just pray in private. Don't be as the hypocrites who pray to be seen, you know, to pray to be seen by people. Okay, so simple as that, guys. You don't want to be opening any doors praying to a rosemary bead. Nowhere in the Bible does it say to do that. That's why, guys, we must have the spirit of truth that leads us to all truth. We don't need to have it because let's say guys tribulation comes let's say they throw us in jail and prison are we going to be a half our rosemary breed or whatever you say it okay no we're not going to be able to have that so you mean that god's not going to hear our prayers because we don't have that it's like no we don't have to be doing any of that okay so these are the 10 signs you are practicing witchcraft divination and opening doors for demons and how to identify number one is astrology and horoscopes number two is tarot cards number three is spirit guides number four is kindling energy and spirit number five is uji boards hopefully i'm saying that right Number six is astral projecting. Number seven is yoga meditation. Number eight is dream catchers. Number nine is crystals. And number 10 is rosemary beads. Okay, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash the like button. Leave a comment below. I'll try to read all my comments and uh, share this video on all social media platforms. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.